Good evening and welcome to IHW Council's special web series on RH negative incompatibility. I'm Anisha Nayar Dhawan and you're watching our exclusive show on RH negative blood group and its impact on pregnancy. A healthy pregnancy is a celebration for the entire family to welcome a new member. But there are a few things that would-be parents should be aware of when starting a family. One of the issues is RH incompatibility. This occurs when a pregnant woman whose blood type is RH negative, for example, B negative, is exposed to RH positive blood from a fetus, for example, say B positive. Because of this incompatibility, the mother develops RH antibodies, which have the potential to cross the placenta and attach or destroy the fetus's red blood cells. This causes the fetus to become anemic. In severe cases, the baby may need special blood transfusion called exchange transfusions, either before birth, which are the intrauterine fetal transfusions or after delivery. Our show today is special is we're going to talk about Irish negative blood group and its impact on pregnancy. And to guide you for that and to answer all your queries on this, we are delighted to have with us Dr. P.M. Gopinath, Director and Senior Consult Consultant, Obstetrics and Gynecology Institute of Obstetrics and Gynecology and IVF, Sims Hospital, Chennai. Welcome to the show, Dr. Gopinath. Good afternoon. Before I begin our conversation, I would request all our viewers online to keep sending us your questions as you listen to Dr. Gopinath. And if you have any questions that come up to your mind, because he's here to help answer all your queries over the next 30 minutes. So, so make the most of the time that you have with Dr. Gopinath today. Do like uh, and comment uh, with your feedback and also share this page on your wall if you think uh, there are some friends or family members who do may get benefited uh, from the discussion that we have today. So let's begin, Dr. Gopinath. Now, in my introduction, I try to explain, and I understand as a layman what RH incompatibility is. Now, say the mother is uh, uh, RH negative, like she's B negative. How come a baby becomes B positive? What is the chance? Because, you know, uh, the baby's DNA comes from mother and father. So what is the chance that mom will be RH negative and the baby will be RH positive? First, let me just tell you what is blood group? Hmm. So there are so many varieties of blood groups. For example, ABO system, RH system, MN system, Lutheran system, Kelly's. There are various things. Among that, there are two major important points which we just take it is from ABO group and RH group. ABO is the patient can be A, B, O, or AB. Mm -hmm. And each of them can have this RH factor, what we call it as an RH, either mm -hmm. it is positive or negative. negative. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you take the overall, you know, in the entire thing, about 85% of them will be RH positive. Okay. And only 15% of them will be RH negative. That is both husbands, wives, all put together. Mm -hmm. And if you take that, predominantly the positiveness is seen in O, followed by A, and then followed by B, and then followed by A. The same way, if you take that 15% of the negative, most of them are seen with O group and then followed by A and then mm -hmm. followed by B at last A. For example, if you take a mother who is mm -hmm. O positive and she marries another husband who is O positive, there is absolutely no issue, no mm -hmm. incompatibility either on ABO system or at an RH system. Mm -hmm. Supposing if she is O negative, that is the 15% I have said, you no, know, if she mm -hmm. happens to be a O negative, mm -hmm. the husband has to, I mean, in case it is positive, mm -hmm. there again, depend upon the dominance of that particular system. So if he has got a very dominant gene expressing a positive and his offspring will always be positive. And if dominant gene is not there, 
what mm. we call it as a small d and capital d so if it is dominant g is not there he mm. can produce either a positive baby or mm. a negative baby he can express it or he can think so if you have a negative mother with mm. a positive baby it is not always the baby the positive husband it is not mm. always the baby will be positive positive baby still can be negative so okay so what you're saying is doctor of the entire population only 15% have the negative rh and of this 15% population it is the women who have the negative rh who should be watchful when they're starting a family should their uh, partner be rh positive right exactly all the rh negative women even before their marriage if they have just seen the blood group and noted as an rh negative it they have to be very watchful and uh, in <coughs> they can marry an rh positive it doesn't mean that they have to mm. select only for the rh negative group they can mm. marry but mm. they have to bring it if at all i ask we go on when i explain you will know it does mm. not affect all the pregnancies so yes it can, doesn't affect all the pregnancies yeah, and they can get uh, it normal. shouldn't uh, yeah it shouldn't affect your uh, choice of life partner as well because exactly. there are treatments available and exactly. you know the chances exactly. like you said it depends on the dominant gene so they shouldn't perhaps be a deciding factor for uh, choosing your partner because right. there are treatments available if there is an incompatibility uh, but in all likelihood unless there is a very dominant gene uh, it may not be a problem right when the yes absolutely right but the problem is when when they are planning for a pregnancy they mm. have to go for a consultation yes yes so that is very important to tell them say look mm. here my blood group is o positive my mm. husband's blood group is a1 positive i am planning for a pregnancy what mm. are all the precautions we do when i can see what are all the things we should they should know the mm. entire in the impact of the rh system on the entire mm. pregnancy what it can do what it cannot do in what way they can be vigilant what are all the precautions they have to make sure uh, mm. it is taken to avoid the complications right but uh, dr gopinath how how much awareness exists about this i mean the last thing on my mind when i'm looking for a partner is going to be you know what his rh blood rh is i get married and then you know we are all happy and we you know have the happy news starting a family so what is the level of awareness among uh, you know patient groups and even physicians uh, i mean um, i'm not uh, rh negative but uh, during both, both my pregnancies uh, the physician was i mean she never even mentioned it so will they only mention it to women who are rh negative uh, is there enough awareness about this yes if it if the uh, say the moment you become pregnant you go mm. to the obstetrician mm. and when they do it and if it is negative they will inform they will talk to okay. you saying that you are negative please mm. bring your husband we will do the testing for him so they will do the testing and then if he is positive then they will put it across to you for example okay. um if you are positive why confuse you with all the information the same way if you are negative if your husband is also negative then why confuse you with all the issues so that is the reason they okay. do not scare you with the blood systems when you just hmm. go with the pregnancy in the beginning okay um uh, the other question uh, that i have is uh, uh, dr gopinath that uh, you know sometimes what what i've understood is that during your first pregnancy even if you don't know about this it may not even impact you or the baby but you know subsequent pregnancies become a little risky if you don't take time the action how how does this work how does this work out yeah see the the disease or the pathology is the mother is negative so if the baby happens to be positive mm. so what actually happens is there is a transplacental exchange of blood so the mother is being pumped with positive blood so if there is a positive blood in a negative mother so she mm. starts preparing an antibody for the positive mm. so this preparedness 
probably takes about nine months before that the patient delivers. Mm -hmm. So that is the issue. And then after that, after the delivery, there will be a lot of antibodies. Mm -hmm. If you take precaution, give appropriate uh, uh, the antigen, uh, then you will completely destroy it. She becomes a fresh woman again to start with that. So that is the main key issue. So, uh, for example, if the patient has not even delivered, this is the first pregnancy, mm -hmm. they do a lot of things. They do an amniocentesis. They take out the blood for some various procedures and they do mm -hmm. some maneuvers. And all this will help in building up even in the first pregnancy. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still trying to understand, Dr. Gopinath. You know, um, uh, amniocentesis is not considered very safe. So, I mean, why would you go ahead with something like this? Oh, I amniocentesis. Mean, you, yes. Why? Why? What do you yeah. hope to achieve out of it? Plus, amniocentesis. What, uh, one more question, Dr. Kupinath. I thought, you know, the placenta is one, which is a connection between the mother and the baby for the transmission of nutrition and the removal of waste. So where does blood exchange come from? The baby has his own blood and mama has his own blood, her mm -hmm. own blood. So where does the exchange happen? Fine. So... The, the first important point, you know, when you just mentioned about the, uh, the placenta, placenta, mm -hmm. is, it has got a barrier. Mm -hmm. There is a blood barrier, which only the nutrients, one oxygens are being mm -hmm. deprived. For example, mm -hmm. if she has a slight abortion, some small bleeding in the third month of pregnancy. So this okay. blood makes the possible, breaks the blood barrier. And then there okay. is an exchange. That is one. Second is, as I've said, amniocentesis is not mm. the routine test we do. Okay. Very, very. When you feel there is something major issues with the baby, which mm. you want to test it, prove it, and allow her to continue the pregnancy, that is the place where they do the amniocentesis. When you do the amniocentesis, probably it increases the there is an exchange of blood. Hmm. So when the exchange of blood, when the fetal blood, when it crosses to the mother's side, more than 4 ml is the issue where all the disease process starts taking. You mean the antibodies start getting formed yeah. if the transfer the is more mother, than 4 ml of blood? starts developing the antibodies. Okay. Uh, we've started getting a few questions, Dr. Gopinath. And... Uh, uh, one of the Facebook users is asking us, how does the RH factor affect one's pregnancy? Now, you said that you can do the amniocentesis, uh, but, uh, you know, why? what would trigger you to do this? Would there already be some impact on the baby that you notice in an ultrasound or something? Did you consider this invasive test? Uh, how does this impact one's pregnancy? Uh, the importance is, the amniotens, it is done in a very, very limited number, not routinely mm. in all pregnancies. Yes. When you feel the risk and benefit of doing amniocentesis, the mm. benefit is more than they go for the pregnancy. For example, mm. a Down syndrome, when they have done a scan. The blood work. The blood work also, right? No, for no. Down syndrome. You know, when the scan is being done on 12-week size, there yes. is some markers which says this baby may be a down baby. The then thickness the of the neck. Step is they do the blood test. Yeah. So even yeah. in the blood test, there are some issues. Then they prefer to do an amniocentesis. Okay. okay. And about the impact on the first pregnancy, normally it does not affect the baby. They okay. go through a normal uh, delivery. Babies mm -hmm. will be mostly unaffected. For example, if the baby is in an upside position, they try to maneuver and move it down before the delivery. It increases the uh, maternal fetal hemorrhage. So the antibodies mm -hmm. will form. Mm -hmm. Normally, the head comes first in the mm -hmm. delivery. And yes. if the head is above, what we call mm -hmm. it as a breech delivery, the bottom yes. first. So we can try to move above from the abdomen before delivery and make it into a normal process. This is called external cephalic version. When you mm. do this version, 
there is an incidence of hemorrhage. So RH isoimmunization takes place even in the first pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we have another question, Dr. Gopinath, uh, uh, Facebook user is asking, do all RH negative moms get uh, RHOGAM? I'm not sure what is uh, Yeah, this is a ROGAM. So this ROGAM, ROGAM yes. is an mm -hmm. antigen which is injected to the mother. So mm -hmm. when she is RH negative, mm -hmm. when she delivers an RH positive baby, mm -hmm. and then this is injection is given in the first 72 hours. That is number one. When the before the delivery, when she has undergone an amniocentesis, we mm. give a prophylactic dose. Or when they have done an external cephalic version or some procedures, then at around 28 weeks, we give a, another dose. So antenatally, we can give prophylaxis with a rogam. Mm. And normally, after the delivery, within 72 hours, we give the final dose. Okay, but I think the question is that is it given to all RH negative mothers or is it all only given RH to those? All RH negative mothers who has delivered the positive babies. So you have to first determine the blood group exactly. before you give this, right? Exactly. So Not only that, and we also do a thing called Coombs test. Coombs test will tell us how much of the baby's blood has gone into the mother and mother. produced antibodies. So based on that, we do it. Coombs should be negative, then we just give it. If the Coombs is positive, then there is no point in giving it. We, they do not give it. So, so first is, number one, mother has to be negative. Number yes. two, the baby has to be, has positive. To be positive. Coombs test has to be negative. Then they give it. Right. Now, uh, one question again uh, here is that, you know, uh, if the mother feels that you know, she doesn't want to have another child after this pregnancy, then would, would she be given the antibody injection? Uh, so this is a very good question. So because RH, we always feel that it has been associated with the child, but they do not mm. give it. Mm. But for example, if that lady thinks that she is not going to have another child, mm. she gets even sterilized. That mm. is permanent sterilization is taken in order to avoid the next baby, mm. she can get to do some transfusion later on. Right? So for some other reason, she may need a blood transfusion. Mm. So that time it should not create an issue. So that is the reason we feel this is not only for the childbirth, mm. whatever is the immunological reaction which has taken place in the mother has to be neutralized with the antibody. Okay. Right. Uh, we have another question uh, saying that how is RH incompatibility treated? You told us about the antibody that is given. Uh, uh, you know, that is for the mother. What happens to the baby? Uh, you know, uh, I said in my open yes, remarks that affected. you know, now the baby could be affected, could have anemia. So, yeah. what is the treatment for uh, RH incompatibility? Baby can be affected by three ways. Mild, mm -hmm. moderate, severe. When the baby is mildly affected, mm -hmm. what actually happens is there is a breakdown of red blood cells there. So thereby the hemoglobin, the bilirubin, mm -hmm. bilirubin will be increased. So mm -hmm. baby will come with jaundice. So when there is a jaundice in the mother, there are some phototherapies are there. Then they give phenobarbitone tablet and then they make sure that the breakdown, the protein, uh, the bilirubin is brought down mm. and then baby can survive without any issue. So, doctor, if just for clarification, to... this is jaundice in the baby, right? Yes, yes. We are okay. talking only about the jaundice in the, the baby. baby. Okay. So, the second is if there is an excessive blood destruction, not only the hyperbilirubinia, not only the jaundice, baby mm. also goes in for anemia. Baby becomes pale. You know, she is papery pale. He, at the same time, it is born with yellow, yellow tinge. So in this issue, probably the baby will need a transfusion and then they will need the ther phototherapy and then the head has to be monitored. This is the moderate variety. The severe variety is where the uh, 
bilirubin content goes more than 12 mg per ml it can affect the brain what we call it as a kernel stress so it can uh, later on it can have hearing loss and very severe effects can be there and very in, in the worst case scenario there may be what we call it as a high drop the baby become bloated and mm. it's practically it dies within it becomes anemic so these are all the things which can happen the treatment can be started in utero or after the delivery in mm. utero we can give a transfusion blood transfusion can be given through the ultrasound guidance thereby you will correct that position and when it is born outside we can just do a, a phototherapy and then we give a transfusion exchange transfusion it can manage mm. right uh, we're getting more questions um, first of all uh, there are some worries about mother in mothers that uh, will this cause a miscarriage just that she is rh negative the baby is are you know rh positive they may not be a exchange of blood but what is the risk of miscarriage see the important thing is if there is a miscarriage the miscarriage can occur in the first three months or in the second fourth month if it is in the first three months you may not know the baby's blood group because the baby is not formed a blood group okay. is not formed so okay. for example if there is a tubal pregnancy tubal yeah. pregnancies will be operated in the second month itself that time mm-hmm. nothing will be seen so those cases we presume if the husband is positive if the mother is negative we presume it is positive and give them the antibodies okay antigens are antigens will be injected after the ectopic surgery after mm-hmm. the miscarriage they can take it so that it will neutralizes whatever the antibodies which has formed so mother mm-hmm. is back to normal but uh, is there a threat of miscarriage uh, after 3 months uh, in spite of the miscarriage uh, soon after within about 3 days within 72 hours you give the injection antigen and mm-hmm. then it neutralizes the mother can come back to the normal pregnancy again so the next pregnancy will not be threatened absolutely result, right absolutely normal absolutely right. normal there are some right. tests there hmm. we do the blood test for the mother to find out oh, is there any antibody titer which is happening hmm. Hmm. and then we we can just take it all right uh, one of the facebook users is asking is rh sensitization permanent or does it reverse after some time uh if you are not neutralizing it with antigen then it is permanent is permanent so that is the reason we wait for about some 72 hours give the antigen and then neutralize it and then we nullify it and we make sure that there is no sensitization if you do not take the precautions like this then it becomes a permanent say for example two deliveries she is not aware of it she is not given it then it becomes a problem yes uh uh thank you dr gopnath uh, i hope you can hear me now yes yes so uh one of the other questions that we have received from uh the users is that um you know is rh blood grouping genetic so if i am uh, as a mother uh, rh negative will i transfer this uh, you know to my child you know uh, we are discussing the incompatibility but what is the chance the negative blood group gets passed on genetically see we started with that discussion saying mm-hmm. that if the mother is negative if the baby is positive then there is a reaction Mm. that means it is not genetically transmitted okay <laughs> that's great uh, one less worry for mothers there uh, and um, uh, you know uh, what about the husband does the husband take any uh, treatment at all is it even required uh, husband does not require any treatment because he does not come in contact with the blood or antigen for the mm-hmm. mo- either with the mother or with the baby another question that we are getting is in which trimester of pregnancy is this therapy most effective antigen 
the injection. Yes, the antigen. Yeah. yeah. Ideally, in the first pregnancy, we do it between 28 weeks and 34 weeks is the ideal time to give the antigen. And if you fail to take it soon after the delivery, within 72 hours, you have to give it. Right. And what about the treatment for the baby? Uh, you said that there are gradings of the uh, severity of the cases, right? So what is the treatment given to the baby according to the grading? Yeah, soon after the delivery, they will assess the hemoglobin level. They mm -hmm. will assess the bilirubin level. So if the bilirubin level is mildly elevated, they will give mm -hmm. phototherapy. The phototherapy is something like a chew applied, but they will just give us mm -hmm. thing. Phototherapy can be given from single surface or in double surface. Old days, normally we close the eyes with some small tape and then keep them directly under the sun or indirectly under the sun. That is mm -hmm. the treatment. So that in the form of a phototherapy, we give it. And mm -hmm. we keep monitoring repeated hemoglobin levels, the bilirubin levels. And mm -hmm. then if need be, they give something like phenobarbitone tablets to reduce the metabolism, to bring down the breakdown. Hmm. It is very easily manageable, not a hmm. life-threatening disease, particularly hmm. when it occurs for the first time in the baby. Right. Second baby uh, and third baby hmm. will be worst affected. The okay. first baby, it goes unaffected. Hmm. It can be managed. Hmm. What about the sec a treatment for the second baby and the third baby? When the, yeah. you know, the mother has formed the, antibodies, yeah, uh, you may mother, have given her... Huh. If the mother has given the antigen, there is no hmm. problem. Okay. Automatically it goes on. If the mother has not taken the antigen, second mm -hmm. baby, 60% it will be affected. And mm -hmm. if the third baby, 100% it will be affected. Okay. So um, let's assume that the mother was not aware of this RH neg negative uh, in incompatibility. Uh, it missed the physician. And now she's in a second pregnancy and the baby is getting impacted. Then what do you do? You, uh, yeah. I mean, how will you treat the baby then? Yeah, first what we do, even as she was becoming, uh, during her pregnancy, we will look at the antibody titer, maternal antibody titer. Mm. If the titer is above one particular level, what mm. we'll do, we will do a, a ultrasound. With the ultrasound, take the baby's blood and then assess it. The same time, we give exchange transfusion. Give a mm. fresh blood, O negative blood to the baby to mm. an ultrasound in utero, within the uterus. So mm. that is the ultimate treatment and it will make the baby healthy, get out of the issues. Right. How does this happen, this in utero blood, blood transfusion? Uh, how safe is it? And for the mother, uh, does she have to be sedated? Is it like an operation? How does it happen? Yeah. Mother can be easily talking. She mm. can observe it. It is not a, the one single needle, the intramuscular injection needle, little thicker than that will be passed through the abdomen. That mm. area will be given a local anesthesia. She mm. will not do anything. She mm. will cooperate. She will be looking at the images and she will be seeing it. And she mm. can see it alive. It might take right. about three hours or four hours for the people to do it, but she she will not uh, undergo any issues. Okay. She okay. can even take uh, fruit juices in between if she wants it. All right. Uh, another question that we've got is: Can Rh factor cause birth defects in babies? Uh, usually, no. It does not okay. cause a birth defect. So, mm -hmm. in case of severe RH incompatibility, the previous child where it is not immunized, it can mm -hmm. result in neurodevelopmental disorders, but mm -hmm. not birth defects. What are these neurodevelopmental disorders? Mental retardation, hearing mm -hmm. loss, mm -hmm. the two commonest things which occur with RH isoimmunity. Right. Uh, another question is, what are the symptoms of RH incompatibility? RH incompatibility does not have any symptom. See, mm. the moment you become pregnant, when you just go there, if the first thing they do is a blood grouping. 
Mm-hmm. So in the blood grouping and RH typing, if you are negative, they ask you the husband to come. They mm-hmm. do the blood grouping for him. Okay. And if right. he is positive, they will put one red mark in your anti sh- antibody sheet, and then just mm-hmm. follow it up. All right. It's very simple. And uh, even uh, so, we have been doing this process for more than fifty mm-hmm. years. Okay. So basically, counseling happens, and then uh, uh, the uh, you know the patients are uh, managed very actively. Exactly. Right. Uh, another uh, Facebook user is asking: Can Rh negative blood cause health problems? Like to the mother, I mean, would it cause health problems to her at all? It is. It is something like a labeling of your blood group system. Mm. Mm. So if it is negative, it does not mean that she is deprived of anything. Mm. She is normal, healthy, like any other positive woman. Mm. So basically, uh, she is regular only when she has a baby who is Rh positive. Does she need to be careful? The baby will also be fine, but she, she has, has to be to, careful. She has to take precautions for the next mm-hmm. baby. That is all. You need not worry about it. If right. Rh is negative, don't get panic. Don't get scared. Yeah, If because you, treatments are there and it can is. be actively managed. Uh, there is another question coming in. Can two Rh positives have an Rh negative baby? I mean, if both mother and father are Rh positive, can they have an Rh negative baby? Never, never. Because where does this positive negative factor come? So the mother has got a positive antigen, father has got a positive antigen. So mm-hmm. the obviously the baby will also be a positive antigen. There, ne- it will never come with a negative baby. As I have said in the beginning. If the mother is neg- negative, if the father is positive, still the baby can be negative or baby can be positive. Positive, yes. So if negative, of course, it's not going to be a big problem at all. Now, um, one question that we have is uh, from a Facebook user: What if a negative mother has aborted in twelve weeks of pregnancy and has not taken the antigen? How will it affect the subsequent pregnancy, and can it be useful for the second pregnancy if uh, the antigen is started in the first trimester? So the woman had a abortion. Uh, she had a, a you know Rh um, positive baby. She didn't take the antibody then. When she had a subsequent pregnancy. Then would you give her the antigen in the first trimester? I understood the question. So the problem <laughs> is when she becomes pregnant second time. Hmm. who has not taken an anti- antigen earlier we do a maternal antibody titer okay so this maternal we will evaluate how much of the antibody this mother has developed due to the previous sensitization hmm. so that level will tell us how far we have to be guarded and hmm. the second thing is the antibody titer the uh, antenatal prophylaxis is given at around 28 weeks and 34 weeks Okay, not in the first trimester. And if the titers are very high, huh. then antibodies have already formed. There is no hmm. point of giving antigen. Okay, um, we we have another question. Uh, does one have to get rogum shot in every pregnancy? Yes, if it is negative, every pregnancy the baby has to be tested. and then mm. the mother has to be tested for a coombs whether the antibodies have developed or not and then she has to keep on taking it all right another question from a user is does the father's blood type matter in pregnancy i'm sure it does uh um, oh, with the with the as long as the antibody or a rh iso immunization it does not matter but without a father we won't be able to just get a pregnancy <laughs> that is also true uh one question um uh, another question that we are getting is that um uh, can it cause health problems for the mother no mother will be healthy it hmm. does not have any increased incidence of any disease or pregnancy complications okay and the anti uh, i mean the shot that the mother gets uh, does it have any side effects could it impact her health at all it is very simple just like a tetanus toxicity it will be hmm. given and there is no side effects 
and there is uh, so far i have not heard of any untoward side effects of and uh, rh uh one question that i have is dr gopinath uh why do we have to get the rogam shot in um, every pregnancy say uh, you know you give uh, uh, the anti you know if i develop the antibodies and i'm given the shot uh, doesn't it get neutralized forever why would i need it subsequently in every pregnancy because the second pregnancy through the second baby you are going to sensitize the get again oh, so you'll then get after it again. that yes then after that you need the shot okay so basically you have to test for the titters and then test, see whether it's required or not test the baby's blood group hmm. see whether the immunization has taken place then you have to test it all right so a uh, few steps on the way but uh, uh, the thing that uh, dr gopinath has clarified is we are getting another question whether there are any side effects of rogam shot which dr gopinath has said there are none uh but you may need them repeatedly in subsequent pregnancies because with each pregnancy you may be you know developing the antibodies which have to be neutralized so uh testing is to be done and then uh the physician will take a call on um, you know what is to be done so uh dr gopinath you had mentioned that as a treatment for the fetus an intrauterine blood transfusion happens um uh, and you describe the procedure can this be done immediately after birth as well will it suffice yes we do we do we do uh, soon after the birth we mm. look at the hemoglobin we look at the bilirubin if the bilirubin is very high we do a exchange transfusion outside through the umbilical cord the umbilical cord has got a vein and artery we put a plastic cannula into the umbilical cord and then give an exchange transfusion outside it can be done outside all right uh uh dr gopinath um, there is another question that is coming up uh a facebook user is asking is it necessary to do ict test while having a mtp or surgical mtp while mother is negative and po- a partner is positive is it required to do this ict test i don't ICT know what the ict test no, is so ICT can is explain it in direct coms test so okay. we don't have to do it if the mother is negative if the husband is positive after mm-hmm. an abortion we can just directly give an antibody antigen directly we can give it within 3 3 uh, days 72 hours in the indirect coms test need not be done okay it's not uh, uh, necessarily done yes uh, but the uh, uh, the antibody shot may be given to the mother nevertheless Uh, so we've taken up a lot of questions in the show today and uh, thank you so much dr gopinath for joining us and uh, answering so many questions all those who joined today who had so many questions have i'm sure got a lot of answers today a lot of clarity on um, uh, you know how to handle this just one last thing that i would like to ask you is dr gopinath if you can say uh say one thing to everybody watching you know some people get worried about oh rh negativity it's truly really bad so what would you like to say to, uh, to the viewers about rh negative incompatibility this the fall rh negative is yet another group you mm. need not get panic by looking at the blood group that is number one number mm. two if you are negative that is 15% of the population is negative out of that 15% say about 40% will be in the female so all together around 7% of the female may be negative and if you are negative be aware that you are negative and then inform your consultant when you plan a pregnancy hmm. so they go through it and be aware there is no major issues in the first pregnancy and hmm. it is always the protection is given only for the second pregnancy so you will go even if they have not done the combs if they have not done the proper scan you will still go through and then deliver a baby without any issue mm-hmm. soon after the delivery what injection you take the antigen is only for the protection against the second baby so mm-hmm. don't worry about it it is just a variant where you have to have an extra vigil and then inform your obstetrician and that is all don't get panicky with the rh and we have a boom the antibody is here antigen is here mm. so it can be given even during pregnancy 
make sure that you don't get any other complications out of it. Right, Dr. Gopinath, thank you so much for joining us today and answering all the questions that you've taken up. So uh, that was Dr. Gopinath from Chennai answering all your questions on RH negative blood group and uh, the incompatibility during uh, pregnancy. If you have more questions, you can send them to us through our WhatsApp. You can click on the WhatsApp uh, button on our page, type in the questions, and we will take up uh, the questions when we return with another show on RH uh, incompatibility. Now, don't forget to follow us and stay updated on all the concerns about your health and well-being. The IHW Council page has a lot of information for you to follow, which really is very helpful. This program was supported by Bharat Serums and Vaccines Limited under its Public Awareness Initiative. We'll be back with our special show on RH Negative Incompatibility next week, same time. Do follow us on Facebook and get all the updates on our upcoming programs to keep sending us your questions and we'll certainly include them in our next show. Till then, stay at home, take care and be safe. Goodbye and see you soon. Thank you, Anisha.